Hi everyone, I'm Amin. Uh, I'm joining from Vito, he's a Belgian Flemish company, and today I'm here to share a story that we have with the program, working with some African governments and all the challenges that we are facing in open data and open source modeling. So this story starts with indices in Africa. Uh, if you, as an energy modeler, take a look to some of those indices at the first glance, we'll understand that something is not working there. The targets and all the uh, roadmaps that are designed are not really well validated with some solid modeling exercises. And in most of the cases, when you further investigate, those models are delivered by some consultant. In most of the cases, we don't have data in Africa. The assumptions are not clear. The things are not open. The, the, the tools that are used are not open. So the countries basically don't have the capacity to continue further working or taking the ownership of the models because they don't know what is happening there. And interesting that more than 50% based on an interviews of people who are working with indices in country are already trained a couple of times, open source tools, how to work with data, but it's still there's something missing there. Now, what we're doing with what we call it indices support center funded by the Flemish government in collaboration with uh, AFRIC, that is the kind of IEA for Africa, is that we want to try to give a different uh, way of capacity building and training in Africa, starting with the countries negotiating what they need, what are their issues, trying to design a solution together and instead of creating a bulk amount of uh, uh, let's say capacity building and delivering the same to different countries we provide different approaches for capacity building usually starting with energy data energy statistics how to build uh, for example energy balances for one or two years together how to design the service how to collect the data and then the next step we provide them some technical support which is basically making a model together not for them Say what you need, what are the models that you are using? Let's start building something not from scratch, but together. Now, next slide. Mm, save 10 seconds for me. <laughs> all right, so a couple of elements there. First of all, we try to make a connection between the countries that are involved, four countries. So they should learn from each other. Some have some capacity in some specific field, some others don't, so they can learn from each other. More than that, the capacity buildings are not focused just for the researchers or for the ministries. There is a combination of trainees, data statisticians, people working with the balances, people from academia and people from ministry because they need to learn how to collaborate together. And then I have a picture there that shows the philosophy of what we are doing. I don't know if you're familiar with what is called decoupage in cinema. So basically directors, when they want to record the scene, they start thinking before recording where they should put the camera, where they should put everything, how to design a scene and then start recording it. Movie critics use the same approach in a reverse way, doing this decoupage and then watching a movie and understanding if the director designed everything in the best way possible. So this is what I told to my trainees in the first session of the energy modeling, usually saying that you need to be a movie critic instead of a director. You should be able to understand what is happening. If someone delivers to you as a consultant, an energy modeling work, a report, anything else, instead of just looking at the graphs, you should be able to understand why they use a specific framework, why they're doing that, what is behind the assumption, how to design the uh, mitigation actions or scenarios. In this way, basically, if the knowledge is well made there, then they are easier to use open model because we know that it's difficult for some of them. They would rather to have something without interface, easy to use, even if it is closed, but then if you want to bring them the knowledge of open that we know sometimes is more difficult, they should have a better and basic knowledge of what they are doing. Uh, thank you. I would be happy to have also some feedbacks from your side to understand how we can improve the approach. 